Okay, now the next bit is how to put VLOOKUP formulas into your spreadsheet so that you don't have to manually type in you know, what the comments are for each person. You don't have to say, okay, 85% uh, or 85% oh, they get an excellent and type excellent in. You want the computer to do that for you. So let's tell the computer to do something. We press the equal sign again and this time we're going to say VLOOKUP and we hit the VLOOKUP button here and straight away the computer says, okay, what do you want me to look at? So you tell them, well, we want you to look at the percentage mark for this student, please. So tell them to look at the percentage mark. And then we press the comma because we've got another thing that we want it to do. We want it now to compare that percentage mark, which is in cell E2. Yes, it is. We want it to compare that percentage mark to this table here. And we'll highlight the whole table. So we're highlighting from E16 to F22 down here. From E16 to F22. And that has not only the marks, but the comments that are associated with each mark. Now because we're going to later on copy this formula down, we don't want the computer to automatically look further down the page in this column. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the dollar sign in front of each of the letters and each of the numbers to tell us, you know what, no matter how often you move this formula, we always want you to come back to this table here for your values. So then we'll go to the end there and we'll press comma. Now, computers need to be told what to do. So we've told it, look at the percentage mark, compare that percentage mark to all these values, and now we want it to allocate the comment that's in the second column to that percentage mark. So we have to tell it, put the comment from the, from the second column in this space. Now, once we're finished, we have to press the close bracket sign so that our argument is complete and we press enter. Now, automatically, 75%. Well, let's have a look down here. Yes, between 70 and 80, it is very good. So the very good comment has been put in automatically. Now, if we once again, if we want to copy that formula down the page, we move the cursor to the right-hand bottom corner, it turns into a plus sign, and we can copy it down the page. And it looks like Dimitri's really good. He should be doing engineering. Um, poor old uh, Irene Egbert only got a, an ungraded. Um, so this is this is a really quick and easy way to add comments. Now, if you're doing your reports, make sure that the comments that you put in here in your VLOOKUP page exactly match the, the appropriate comments for those scores, and then you can just copy that column and stick it straight into your reports. No more multiple button pushing. Um, so that's a really good feature um, of Google Sheets. Next up, we're going to do a mail merge. So if you're feeling brave, I'll see you for the third video where we do mail merging. Thanks.